Okay, I think uh, we are live now. Hello, uh, everyone, and uh, welcome to this session. And this is a series of session. I mean, this is third in the series of uh, this session that we are conducting. And as part of these sessions, we try to bring one of our participants, students, who got successfully placed in the field of data science. And we are trying to choose people who have different backgrounds. And today we have uh, Mr. Mukalingam with us, who is currently oh. working as a data scientist in a company called as Spotlock. Right. And uh, uh, Mr. Mukalingam has beaten in mechanical engineering degree. And a lot of people ask me this question on, I'm from non-IT background. I'm from mechanical background. And I'm from different other you know, specializations. Can I actually get into this field of data science? Is it really apt for me or not, right? So let's listen from uh, the person who is from mechanical engineering background and yet made it into this COVID field of data science. Thank you so much. Uh, Mukalingam for your time yeah. and uh, for our students, can you just let me know on how was it like uh, you were from non-IT background, mechanical engineering background, how did you actually get into this field of data science and what was your journey like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so even though I'm a mechanical engineer, uh, I can say like data science is into everywhere, like in all over the fields in the world. So like I have researched in some places and then I got to know like 360 digit MG is teaching data science. Then uh, they have, they, they, means like 360 digit MG is providing a very good curriculum of the data science course. I have taken it and then uh, I have got into the all data, data science concepts and I even have a very good knowledge in mechanical engineer. I, my thinking went into like how to implement these concepts into my uh, core field which is mechanical engineering so uh, that's what the means like that's how I came to this field and uh, three, especially like 360 digital MG has provided a very good curriculum that's that helped me a lot in coming into this this field thank you thank you so much for that and I also believe that you have worked as an intern you opted for the internship opportunity Yes, and yes. Uh, for a few months, you have worked as an intern to gain more practical exposure yes, on the concepts yes. that you have learned. Can you explain to our uh, audience on how did it actually help you? Was internship actually helpful? If yes, from what standpoint? Yeah. Yes, yes. So it's always my common funda is like uh, whenever you learn something, implement into the real world. So I have learned lots of data science concepts on our basic data sets. So that thing, I want to know how it will be implemented in the real world. So as 360 Digit MJ has provide me and provided me an internship, so that helped me like uh, to implement the concept what I have learned into a real world project where uh, we can solve the real world problem in two multiple domains. Uh, where they might be facing some of the other problems and where data science concepts like AI concepts we can use there and to uh, get the problem solved. So like this internship has uh, given me a practical, better practical exposure. Like I have learned the concepts. I know the concepts, I know the coding part and all. But uh, when it comes to a real time project, it will not be as like how we have done on the uh, practicing part while learning and all so you we we have to research a lot because that domain we don't know like which domain will come to us on real time we don't even know like what uh, how the things will happen but we know the concept we know the things uh, how to implement so real time project uh, means like in the real time project how to implement that plan if it goes well uh, Ultimately, we are going to get the good results. Absolutely. Well said. So you're saying that all the learnings that you had, you were given an opportunity to implement practically, yes. Yes. right? 
And you also are right in saying that if someone implements a project end to end by doing some research, etc., yeah. these are all practical, real world business problems, right? That we are solving. Then the kind of confidence that you will have when you face your interviews would be immense. Yes, yes. And a lot of our students who got jobs are people who have done internship, who have put in some hard work. And then it wasn't magical for anyone, right? They took that hard work in a disciplined manner and perseverance has helped them get a job. And so yes, yes, yes. you're you are one of the examples for us, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, Mukalingam, if you were to give one very important suggestion to our students on yeah. what should be their uh, you know motive to get a job into the field of data science what would that be like i would say uh, concentrate on the concept if you know the concept in a better way you can implement anywhere like i can say anywhere in the world any way any business problem we can implement if they know the concept that's that's uh, more required like that is more than sufficient to implement into the real time project so that's how i came here i came till now i know the concepts well i know like how to implement those to the real time it takes a little time little hard work and all my best suggestion is to concentrate on the concepts don't drop out in between and all so if they concentrate well on the concepts and try to practice on everyday basis like whatever the concepts you have learned practice it more and like try to see we have uh, all the things are on, on our hand like github is there there are lots of projects on the github which are completely open source and they can see like how the same things can be done in multiple ways by using python and all so they have to see like once they go into uh, they like uh, how, to, how to apply and all then they'll get different kinds of uh, things to be implemented on the same uh, business problem so this is what uh, i suggest to everyone absolutely thank you thank you so much uh, mukalingam so mukalingam has to say that you will have to practice friends practice makes you perfect just listening the concepts will not help. Listening the concepts will help you understand how the concepts are being applied, uh, how does the algorithm work. But until and unless you apply it practically, you might not uh, remember those, right? So, yep, well said that you have to practice, 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 and practice. And one more very important point, which our friend has brought about here, is that please don't drop out midway. Right, winners are people who cross the finish line. You will get a job, no doubt about that. When will you get is completely dependent on amount of hard work that you're putting in. There's no question about you not getting a job. You will get a job. Will you get a job before the training completes? Because a few people got midway while the training was midway, they got jobs. A few people get the jobs after they complete the training, right? A few people probably it will take six months, eight months, one year time, but they get jobs. So perseverance is important. Don't quit midway. That's uh, the key point which our friend is also telling us. Okay. So thank you so much, uh, Mukalingam, for your time. It's been yeah, a yeah, pleasure. Yeah. And I'm really, you know, pleased to see you working as a data scientist, right? Yes. Especially people from non-IT backgrounds, when they get into data science, I'm like, wow, good. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Thank Thanks you. Thank you, so yeah, thank you so thank much. Yeah. Thank you so much once again. Yeah. Take care and all the best yeah. for your career future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.